A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am God Almighty. Walk before me and be blameless, and I will make my covenant between me and you, and will make you exceedingly numerous. Then Abram fell on his face, and God said to him, as for me, this is my covenant with you. You shall be the ancestor of a multitude of nations. No longer shall your name be Abram, but your name shall be Abraham. For I have made you the ancestor of a multitude of nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of you, and kings shall come from you. I will establish my covenant between me and you and your offspring after you throughout their generations for an everlasting covenant to be God to you and your offspring after you. And I will give to you and to your offspring after you the land where you are now an alien, all the land of Canaan for a perpetual holding for I will be their God. God said to Abraham, as for you, you shall keep my covenant, you and your offspring after you throughout their generations. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Psalm response is, the Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. Remember the wonderful works he has done, his miracles and the judgments he uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. O offspring of his servant Abraham, children of Jacob, his chosen one. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He is mindful of his covenant forever, of the word that he commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant that he made with Abraham, the sworn promise to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the people, Very truly I tell you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. The Jews said to him, Now we know that you have a demon. Abraham died, and so did the prophets. Yet you say, whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham, who died? The prophets also died. Who do you claim to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. It is my father who glorifies me, he of whom you say, he is our God. Though you do not know him, but I know him. If I would say that I do not know him, I would be a liar like you. But I do know him, and I keep his word. Your ancestor Abraham rejoiced that he would see my day. He saw it and was glad. Then the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, before Abraham was, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, today we hear God make a covenant with Abraham, or rather God tell Abraham that he's going to make a covenant with him and we've heard the word covenant 
a fair bit if we uh, attend the Mass frequently or if we spend a little time reading the Bible, particularly the Old Testament, but not just the Old Testament. We hear that word quite a bit. A covenant is a lot like a contract, but it is also different. In a contract, two parties make an agreement, and often that agreement can be enforced by a third party. But in a covenant, they each make a pledge. They each make a gift, in a sense, of themselves. And today, we heard the Lord making a covenant with Abraham. Of course, this isn't the beginning of God's relationship with Abraham. If you recall, the Lord has spoken to him before. From the book of Genesis, we read, Now the Lord had said to Abram, Go from your country, from your family, and from your father's house, house to a land that I will show you. That was the call of Abraham. And today we heard God's promise, his pledge to Abraham, his covenant. You, he said, shall be the ancestor of a multitude of nations. Abraham answered God's call, and God was faithful to his promise. That promise came, from that promise rather, came first the people of Israel, and eventually through Jesus Christ, all of us, children of Abraham, by faith. Abraham answered God's call. He left the familiar comforts of home and his father's house, left them behind for what, from a practical point of view, was an uncertain and potentially even dangerous future. But God was faithful to his promise to Abraham. It's good for us to remember this in this time that God has made promises to us as well. He has made promises to us in Jesus Christ. And we heard some of them this past Sunday. I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, Jesus says, those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. The Lord promises us life, fullness of life with him. And in the scriptures also, he promises that our Father in heaven will always hear us when we call. Those promises have been given to us. And today, like Abraham, we hear them as we have been called to step forward into an uncertain future. We have been forced to leave behind the comforts, not of our home and family perhaps, but the comforts of our routine, everyday existence. The comfortable assumption that tomorrow will end up being very much like today. Suddenly, the Lord's promises don't seem to be talking to us about some hypothetical distant future, but quite possibly about the very near future. We don't know. But what we do know is that he is faithful to his promises, to his covenant. He is with us. He listens to our prayers, and he desires only our good, even as if in this moment or the next, our good seems to be far away. The Lord has made his promises, his pledge, and he is faithful. In our baptism, and every time indeed we profess, profess the creed, we make our own covenant pledge to him. We make our own promises. We say, I believe. I believe in God the Father Almighty. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. I believe in the Holy Spirit. We too then promise to be faithful to our promises as Abraham was faithful. And as we renew our covenant with the Lord, we can count on him. Count on the gift of eternal life, yes, but also on the gift of his presence, his love and care for us, and the gift of peace that he shares with us by the power of the Holy Spirit.